thank you for having me here today. It's exciting to have so many people who are passionate about technology and the opportunities that it opens for everyone, including women. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about that, and I would love to have some time afterwards for questions. Uh, so here's where we start. Globally, and according to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, there is inequality in education, especially for learners in lower socioeconomic brackets, immigrants, refugees, minority ethnic groups, yes, women, LGBTQIA plus people, and learners with special education needs. So although more women than men now have a tertiary degree, women lag behind men in graduating from STEM degrees and are still underrepresented in better paid fields like science and engineering. Women also face lower employment rates and they tend to be paid less than similarly educated men. That is the reality we find ourselves in today. So I, for one, I'm always excited about anything we can do to close those gaps and improve outcomes now. That's where immersive technology comes into the story. We're at a really exciting time when I've seen how technology can help bridge gaps in education and opportunity. So when I talk about immersive technology, I mean things like virtual reality. Uh, they can provide new tools for teachers and educators to unlock experiences for more learners. AI has the potential to help more learners receive an education personalized to their individual needs. And there's a growing momentum for VR education around the world. And Meta is partnering with several innovators to make this a reality. What I've seen is that done well, the metaverse could be a positive force for inclusion and accessibility, bridging some of these divides that exist today in the physical and digital spaces. So for a start, here's one of the good things. VR learning is not limited by geographical location. Learners can train and practice wherever and whenever their schedules allow. Think of a college in a disadvantaged area. They'd be able to collaborate and get support from others hundreds of miles away. Or an outstanding teacher could teach in an underserved school 100 miles away. Learners using VR can build empathy and learn from other communities by immersing themselves in other languages, places, cultures, and experiencing someone else's first-person perspective. There's an app called Immerse. I just met with them last week. Uh, it was begun, interestingly, in a Syrian refugee camp in 2017, where there were people with different languages trying to understand each other. Immerse has now helped thousands of people to learn new languages through live immersion with other people and native speakers. And learning is social, right? We learn from and with others. So VR can provide learners with hands-on experience in a virtual chemistry lab or a language class. It could provide learners with job upskilling, whether at community colleges or law school. New Mexico State University is teaching criminal justice by immersing students in virtual crime scenes to learn how best to investigate. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Exponential Destiny, another nonprofit that I met with recently, they're focused on mentorship and training in Los Angeles's underserved communities. And they're using immersive experiences to share biographies and bring community members closer to community leaders and role models. That unique feeling of presence and immersion that these technologies create can make things possible that are just impossible in the physical world. Jeremy Balenson, who is a VR researcher who leads the Stanford Virtual Human Interaction Lab, has coined an acronym I love called DICE, D-I-C-E. That's used to describe the situations in which virtual reality is particularly useful for education and training. So I'm going to break down this DICE. <laughs> okay, one, it's useful when something is dangerous. That's the D, dangerous to practice in the real world. Think of something like firefighting or flying planes. Two, it's useful when something is impossible in the real world. That's the I. So in the real world, you can't visit an ancient city or roam around in prehistoric times. It's useful when something is counterproductive to do in real life. That's the C. And when something is expensive, E. So the cost of labs and equipment in real life compared to those in a virtual lab, very different. 
instead of telling learners what the dinosaurs were like, they can walk among them. Virtual science laboratories can be built and filled with equipment that most schools would never be able to afford. Classes can go on field trips to the best museums, no matter how far they physically are away from them. And they can be used to take the risk out of otherwise dangerous or expensive technical or vocational training. The University of Glasgow is teaching life sciences by placing students inside virtual intestines to see how the body battles bacteria. How exciting is that? And immersion as a tool for education is supporting educators to achieve their goals of helping learners learn. A survey by the XR Association found that 77% of educators believe these technologies ignite curiosity and improve engagement in class. Meta is partnering with educators, nonprofits, and developers. Specifically, we're supporting the ecosystem to build great content and open sourcing our large language model, LAMA. And this week, we announced that we are building an education platform for Quest devices, launching this year to make it easy to use VR in the classroom. So while it's still early, we're already seeing how transformative these technologies can be in education, demonstrating the promise for the future of how we learn, train, and connect. Victory XR, an independent software vendor, has launched dozens of digital twin campuses that enable learners to connect and collaborate with their classmates in a more immersive way than even a 2D screen, and they can access remotely. This is especially useful for learners who are in rural areas or unable to travel because they have caring responsibilities. Some amazing women are at the forefront of these innovations in education, and I'm so excited to like brag on them now. Dr. Manisha Morris, the Metaversity Director and Assistant Professor at Morehouse College, is a VR pioneer transforming learning globally. She has been leading Morehouse's Metaversity project since the spring of 2021. Morehouse College established a VR replica digital twin campus to teach subjects like chemistry, biology, history, English, journalism, sociology, Africana studies. In 2022, because they are tracking, they reported higher average final test scores for students learning in VR. The comparison was 85 out of 100 for students learning in VR versus 78 in person and 81 for traditional online methods. They also reported an uplift in student attendance and engagement. Through VR, students are learning a new language and can immerse themselves in a city abroad where they can hold real-time AI-powered conversations with a local in that language. Another amazing woman, Dr. Yuki Seto at Japan's Chu University, studied the effects of VR on foreign language learning using Immerse and found that while participants in her studies felt hesitant, speaking foreign languages in person using an avatar lowered their psychological barrier and encouraged them to express themselves without feeling self-conscious, so they learned better. In the field of science, Labster has built virtual science labs that allow students to use the equivalent of millions of dollars worth of equipment than most schools couldn't afford. These sort of applications have the potential to widen access to high-level STEM learning, and they can use it to conduct experiments that would be too dangerous in real life. After all, in VR, you could blow things up or spill acid everywhere without consequences. Body Swaps, a UK-based global company, offers full courses in training soft skills like interviewing and public speaking. I did their public speaking course. It's amazing. And building trust in the workplace. And for those with special needs, teachers at several institutions, including in Dublin, which is a school called the Colast Poblel Satana School for children on the autism spectrum, use a VR platform developed by another company, Florio, to help their students learn social, behavioral, communication, and life skills by navigating simulated situations like going to the supermarket or visiting a safari park full of animals. And there are many AI use cases as well. 
AI can allow teachers to more easily deliver personalized learning materials and improve accessibility to reach learners with different needs. For instance, by quickly analyzing large amounts of data and finding patterns, AI could support teachers with detailed information about students' learning styles, abilities, and progress, and provide suggestions for how to tailor their teaching methods to learners with individual needs. Educator efficiency. Teachers can outsource the administrative parts of their role that distract them from classroom teaching, which is what they really want to be doing. Every teacher, for example, will tell you how much marking happens outside of working hours, grading. But AI can evaluate essays, multiple choice tests, and other assignments accurately and effectively, potentially even eliminating, eliminating human error and potential bias in grading. Building immersive educational experiences. Using AI, a teacher with little coding experience could design a virtual environment to deliver a specific lesson to a specific learner. And tutoring. Every child can have their own virtual personal tutor working with a real-life teacher to provide additional support in or out of school. Universities are already experimenting with this technology. For example, Staffordshire University has recently launched an AI-powered digital coach that can provide learners with 24-hour support. Improved accessibility. AI enables universal learning design. Learners with special education needs can access learning more easily through features like text-to-speech, automatic captions, voice recognition. Another great woman in the field, Professor and Dr. Mary Ann Hartley, leads the Lab for Intelligent Global Health Technologies, acronym LIGHT. She's partnering with Meta, using LAMA, to build tools making a positive impact on humanitarian response. Her team works with humanitarian response organizations like Doctors Without Borders and the International Committee of the Red Cross to develop implementable AI-powered technology that provably improves healthcare in resource-limited settings and underrepresented populations. These technologies are tools for educators, and they've been using them to achieve their goals of exciting students, helping them learn, and improving their performance. To make it easier for educators, later this year, as I said, we'll be launching a new product offering Quest devices dedicated to education, just as we did last year, Meta's Quest for Business, which was designed for the workplace. This new product will allow teachers, trainers, and administrators to access a range of education-specific apps and features. Some technologies are already being used to teach and to learn. And the potential they have to transform education more broadly doesn't rely so much on technological advances. We're there. Just relies on scale and access. And as the technologies mature and develop, so will their ability to translate ideas across cultures, break down socioeconomic barriers, and create more and better ways for teachers to bring subjects to life with their students. When Arizona State University and Dreamscape Learn, DSL, compared students whose teachers use VR as a tool to teach biology against those who did not, their results indicated that students who have historically struggled in STEM courses, I'm talking about women, students of color, students from lower socioeconomic backgrounds, they performed better in DSL using VR than not. As someone who left my own country to seek educational opportunities that I wasn't afforded at home, I am personally and professionally excited at the prospect of bringing the best opportunities to people wherever they are and serving everyone. Thank you for allowing me to share all of this, all of these details and examples. As you can tell, I'm really excited about how immersive learning can help everyone create opportunities and bridge the gaps.